So my mom had to come in for surgery. Um, luckily it wasn't an emergency surgery, but she's had a uh, gallbladder uh, situation for many years and she finally um, had to get it removed. So we are here today and she's already in recovery. Uh, and we're really relieved to hear that, but uh, we are waiting for her in this family caregiver center. And this is the experience. So we are in a caregiver. Oh. <laughs> okay, Dan's making some odd noises because I made him go into a massage chair. Um, my mother received surgery today and the hospital has a lovely room where you can get all sorts of services and they fed us chocolates or cookies and I really encourage Dan to sit in the massage chair but I don't think it's going so well. He refuses to get out of me but he still keeps making noises as though you're in pain. The place is very soothing. We have our own little room. They allowed us to take off our masks if we have the door shut and we have the door shut. And they have like soothing landscapes and pictures. I mean, the whole hospital should be like this, actually. You okay? Well, while he's uh, supposedly relaxing, I will... Um, riff on what hospitals could be like. Okay, maybe not this aggressive and trying to uh, get, get somebody to relax, to, to relax, but, but certainly better than what we have in most hospitals in this country. This country um, in particular have hospitals that are very stark and I feel like those stark environments I don't know very it feels very disconnected from from nature from humanity where you have room after room it's tiny there are fluorescent lights everywhere there's no color very little uh, there's not much that you can see out the windows that resemble nature a lot of hospitals are in cities and you just see more of cities and i don't think that, that really promotes healing and a feeling of wellness and relaxation um if if hospitals had more of <laughs> if hospitals had more of these the details i think it could really help people i mean i certainly abhor hospitals, being in them, even more so being a patient in one, uh, and I think a large part it has to do with the setting, the environment of a hospital, even the culture of, of a hospital. It's, it's uh, all around efficiency and protocol and policy, and it doesn't feel like a very human place. Um, I understand a lot of the protocol and policy parts. You're doing work that's life and death, essentially, for, for a lot of people that come into the hospital. It's a matter of life and death. Oh my god. Dan? If, if hospitals were more like children's hospitals, children's hospitals tend to be more bright, colorful, um, happy places, the employees even seem uh, happier uh, within a children's hospital. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I, I even know of doctors who prefer to work in, uh, in a pediatric institution because of some of these reasons. So it's something to think about. We hope you enjoyed this little tidbit on our take on uh, hospitals. And uh, Dan, it seems like you're coming around with your massage chair, huh? Is it feeling better? 
I'm glad to hear it, man. Do you feel more relaxed? Uh, oh my. Uh, until next time, folks.